Alrighty guys, so I am going to be doing another Dragon Ball Z segment today. And today's discussion will be about whether or not Kid Buu or Super Buu is the stronger margin of all. And in case you're wondering, the answer to that question is... Super Buu is stronger than Kid Buu. Now, let me start off by saying that a lot of people believe that Kid Buu is the strongest margin of all. They probably believe that because Kibito Kai, when he was telling his story about how the Kais were defeated by Buu, he often stated that Kid Buu is the most dangerous Buu of all. But the most dangerous doesn't necessarily mean the strongest. Let me start off by saying that Dragon Ball Z characters often give many indications as to which fighter is stronger than another. If they believe one fighter is stronger than the other, they will often just say that that character is stronger or more powerful. But you notice that Kibito Kai said more dangerous. He never mentioned that Kid Buu was actually stronger than Super Buu. Now, when you actually look at the fights themselves, Kid Buu is not stronger than Super Buu because of his performance against Super Saiyan 3 Goku, his performance against Fat Buu, and his performance against Vegeta. When you watch Kid Buu's fight with Super Saiyan 3 Goku, many can argue that Super Saiyan 3 Goku was actually stronger than Kid Buu was. And many people can argue that Super Saiyan 3 Goku had the ability to actually defeat Kid Buu by himself. Unfortunately, this is not the case with Super Buu. When Goku fought against Super Buu while he was trying to buy time for Gohan to pick up the Patara airing, Super Buu quickly gained the upper hand, whereas in the fight with, between Goku and Kid Buu, Goku went Super Saiyan 2 for a while and actually managed to get in a few hits. Because of this, Kid Buu is nowhere near as strong as Super Buu was when he absorbed the Z-Warriors. When you look at the fight between Super Buu and Gohan, it is clear that Super Buu with Gohan against Vegito was a lot weaker than Vegito himself because Super Buu was getting pounded by Vegito. However, Super Vegito had to turn into a Super Saiyan and ultimately had to find all of his power within just to crack that hole in the, in the barrier that Super Buu was emitting in order to get to him and hit him. There was never such a struggle against Kid Buu. The only struggle that you may argue is that Kid Buu almost pushed back an entire spirit bomb. But that doesn't necessarily mean he's stronger than any of the other Majin forms. Kid Buu actually held his own against Fat Buu, and that's actually a problem. It was clear that Kid Buu was stronger than Fat Buu, but the fact that Fat Buu held his own against Kid Buu, sorry, as earlier I said Kid Buu, the fact that Fat Buu actually held his own against Kid Buu means that Kid Buu is not much stronger than him. Kid Buu is slightly stronger than Super Saiyan 3 Goku at most. And the fact that Goku crushed the Patara airings in order to few in, I'm sorry, preventing the fusion between him and Vegeta also shows that Goku was pretty confident in his power to beat Kid Buu. When Vegeta and Kid Buu saw Super Buu transforming into Kid Buu, they began to become a lot more confident in their abilities. They became more confident because they believed that his power was decreased a lot more than it actually was. And when you look at Goku and Vegeta, these are pretty smart fighters. They usually have a good indication of fighters they can beat. Goku was clear in saying that he was not stronger than Cell. And the fact that he knew he wasn't stronger than Cell, he simply gave up and gave the fight to Gohan. So, in cases like this, when a fighter acknowledges that he can beat that fighter without help, it shows that he's pretty confident in his abilities and he doesn't think much of his foe. You also have to take in consideration Gotenks as my last point. Gotenks as a Super Saiyan 3 was able to hold his own against a Super Buu. Once that Majin Buu absorbed the power of a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks along with Gohan, even though the fusion ran out at some point, there's no possible way that somebody with the power of Gohan, Gotenks, and Piccolo can possibly be stronger than him. So guys, that's basically my points. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day, guys.